Hello everybody, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors and today I want to do the undercarriage shot of our 68 Mustang. This is a 68 Mustang Fastback. Um, this is one of the rare cars that we get in. This is actually a consignment car. Uh, it's a very nice straight piece. We're going to go ahead and show you the undercarriage of this car. We just put, um, we did it here in our shop, we just put new back brakes all the way around. Uh, had the road had the drums turned also put new hardware kits on uh, one new brake line checked everything out um, We've got really good brakes now. Uh, it has front disc brakes already on it brand new uh, Magnum 500 wheels with brand new tires. I mean the tires. I'll show you they still have the stickers on them uh, The car is really nice underneath it does have new pans that have been put on the car So it has all new pans has a four nine inch rear end. This is a 390 car it isn't an S-code car, but it is a real 390 car, automatic, uh, with a Ford 9-inch rear end. So let's go ahead and show you. The, the body on the car is really nice also. It'll show you around the under edges, how good the pinch welds are everywhere. And uh, it does have brand new pans. Um, like we were talking about on the wheels, these are brand new Magnum 500 wheels on the car. Uh, it still has all of its little nipples. I mean, the car has no miles on the tires. Uh, speaking of which, this one still even has the, the sticker still stuck to it um, as we come underneath here. Now, you will notice there are some brackets that are welded to the uh, subframe right here in the front. Uh, this car was towed behind an RV, <laughs> so, they, so they had a, a tow bar on here. These could be cut off. Uh, we can cut them off if you don't like them, or you can leave them on in case you ever think somebody may end up wanting to uh, tow the car for some reason. Um, does have front disc brakes on it up here. It's not missing anything. The ball joints are good. Um, the uh, grease fittings are good. Now on the outer tie rod ends, um, I do know we have splits in, in these both of these bulbs and we will probably fix those. The customer's having us do some work on the car. We're checking it out really thoroughly. Uh, the subframe comes back here. Uh, the corner brackets are all good. This car was originally undercoated. Um, but it obviously needed pans. They did cut in full pans all the way down the whole length of the car, and they did weld the subframe back to the new pans. The new pans, they did a real nice job of pinching the, the or welding the, the pans in. The original pinch welds on this car are in great shape, still has the numbers still from Ford underneath where this rocker panel is right here. So this was obviously in really good shape. The front fender is in great shape here. Um, it's all metal up in the corner. There's no putty stuffed in this car. Uh, this corner is really in good shape. All metal up here too. The inner fender, um, well you can see where it was originally undercoated from the factory. All of that, uh, or probably at a dealer after sold, after fact, um, that's in really good shape. Does have headers on the car car does and obviously has been running recently <laughs> shouldn't touch them um, comes back here we have two inch exhaust all the way out the back looks like it was mandrel bent uh, does run up over the rear end the pans the new pans were brought all the way back here so both the front and the rear pans are really solid in this car uh, the shackle mounts up in here look really good they're not rusted out they go to the rear subframe uh, the, they put the pans in all the way back to the rear subframe uh, the brake lines on here also look good. Put new stainless steel clamps holding the brake lines in. Um, I'm sorry, that's actually the fuel line, excuse me. And uh, they, they put new stainless steel clamps on there for the fuel line going all the way up to the front. Uh, it does have drum brakes in the rear. We just put all new shoes on the car. And um, the, it has uh, stainless steel exhaust run all the way out the back. Brand new stainless steel gas tank back here. Um, about the only place that I've noticed in the corner right here, uh, there's a little bit of little bit of mud right here in this very corner, just to make this corner nice and smooth. Um, this corner here is all metal right here. On the inner fender wells on both sides, these are original ones. They were the factory undercoated ones. Right in that corner, I don't know if we can see, but uh, there's a little rust hole through that inner fender right there. But that's nothing nothing integral in, integral to the car. Um, and on this side, basically in the same spot, you can see right there, uh, these are the original inner fenders. Um, the outer fender on this side is in really good shape. It's all metal up to the corner. The rear under uh, the volants underneath the rear bumper back here is all metal across there. It looks really good. They did put, put dual tip exhaust, stainless steel dual tip exhaust on the car. So it gives it a great effect. Um, the... Uh, 
pan back here on the back is obviously brand new because I mean this is gorgeous and it's perfect. The rear bumper is beautiful and it is perfect. The gas ca cap is also really good. I'll take some hard pictures of this car, but overall uh, they did a really nice job. It's uh, you can see both of these rear tires too still have uh, the stickers on the tires. I mean the wheels and tires are absolutely brand new. Um, Pretty much a pretty fresh restoration. The paint job on the car is really nice. Upper driver, um, uh, local show quality paint job. Uh, the 390 seems to run really, really strong. It is a fastback Mustang, 68 with a 390. Uh, we didn't go down this edge of the car here. Uh, back on this side, all metal, not stuffed with mud in any of the corners here. All metal here. You can even see the weep holes. A lot of times those get end up getting cut out. Um, so uh, the undercarriage of this car turned out really nice. They did a really good job putting in all new pans. The subframes up in the front, they did a real nice job welding it in. It doesn't look very, it doesn't look all sloppy and, and hacked up. Whoever welded it knew what they were doing. It does have uh, a rack and pinion steering in the front and uh, power steering, excuse me. Um, stock oil pan, 390. Uh, don't know what more to really say about the car. I give the undercarriage a really nice job. I mean, they, they improved this car tremendously. Uh, it's all metal under here. It's not stuffed full of a bunch of Bondo. So uh, overall, the undercarriage of this 68 390 automatic Mustang is really nice. And um, you could be real satisfied that you know you have a very solid car. Uh, this is Passing Lane Motors. We're just southwest of St. Louis in Fenton, Missouri. Our number here is 636 600 1140. Thanks so much for looking and have a great day. One more time, it's Passing Lane Motors 636 600 1140. Thanks now. Bye bye.